Thanks to EA who provided me with an early access code for Jedi Survivor, I'm able to bring you all of Carl's customization options from his hair to his pants in today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of Carl's customization options. And to start off with, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite outfits in the game. Some of these outfits do utilize clone armor parts, which I think is a really cool nod to the Clone Wars. And we do have some Jedi robes in the game. Respawn really have leveled up the customization for Cal in this game. In Fallen Order, I think the only things you could customize were his outfit and the poncho, where in this game you can customize his hair, beard, jacket, pants, and t-shirt. Each of the clothing options also have color options to select from, meaning that there's so many outfit combinations in this game, it's actually unbelievable. You'll be able to make Cal look however you want through all of the options that are available. Respawn have even included options to make Cal look like his young scrapper self from the start of Fallen Order as well, which I think is a cool little nod to the last game. So now I'm going to be breaking down and showing you every single customizable option for Cal. Like I said, his hair, beard, jacket, pants and shirt. There are 14 hairstyles in total and there are 13 beard styles, but beard styles can be slightly altered as you can have a clean shaven option or a stubble option, which you can then put beard styles on top of. So you could have yourself a clean shaven face and a goatee or stubble and a goatee. So the goatee isn't as sort of standout and noticeable. You can just have it. So there are specific parts of Carl's face that maybe look slightly longer than the rest of his facial hair, which I think is a cool option because not everybody in the world, if they choose to have a goatee or something like that, has a clean shaven face. They do sometimes have stubble underneath and it just means that there are even more combinations than just beard options. In terms of jackets, there are 22 jackets in the game and each of these have six color options and the color options are unique per piece of clothing. So in total, there are 132 jacket options. There are 12 shirts in the game and each shirt has six color options again. So there are in total 72 shirt options. There are 13 pants in the game, again, each having six individual color options. So there are a grand total of 72 pants options in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I think in total that brings the clothing options up to around 280 different clothing options for you to choose from in Jedi Survivor. And I just wanted to point out as well that clothing items are found in chests or purchased from vendors. However, some clothing options, if you find them in a chest, will not come with all of their color options. You will have to find the color options for the piece of clothing separately. Also, another thing to bear in mind is depending on which edition of the game you have bought and whether or not you have pre-ordered depends on how many clothing options you will get in the game. And the same goes for the lightsabers, since there are some cosmetics which come purely with pre-ordering and with the deluxe edition of the game. You can see on screen now I'm just showing you some of the color options for some of the clothes inside of Jedi Survivor. I'm trying to focus on the ones that I think people will be most interested in, as there are some clothing options which mention in their description that they do use parts of clone armor and obviously we do have jedi robes in the game and i'm also showing you some of the color options for the deluxe edition of the game and the pre-ordering options in the last major section of the video i just want to point out that the mullet the bun the scrapper choppy forward crew cut undercut center part and slicked back hairstyles look like they have color options available however i haven't unlocked them yet this could be something that gets added post launch or something I'm yet to find in the game. If you want to scroll back and have a look in the bottom right hand corner of these hairstyles, you can see a locked bar, which is normally where the color options are for the items of clothing. Now I'm just showing you how I normally customize Carl in the game. This is how the menu works. You can rotate Carl so you can get different angle views of the clothing you are choosing as well as the haircuts and beards. Like I said, there are different options. You can see here I'm going for the more sort of Clone Wars general kind of look. That's at least what I'm trying to aim for. These items of clothing, I don't think contain any clone armor, but it does look a bit like it. So that's why I went for it. And then obviously these are the Jedi robes or some of the Jedi robes in the game. This is a combination I like to go for because it kind of reminds me a little bit of Anakin Skywalker's robes from Revenge of the Sith. You can't obviously copy those exactly, but the sort of style and the color combination really reminds me of Anakin robes from that era. But that is it 
for this video. Those are all of the customization options for Carl, ranging from his hair to his pants, like I said, and all of the smaller options in between, like color options and whether or not you have a clean face or stubble when you're applying your facial hair. I do hope this answers any questions you have about Carl's customization. I will still do the blaster customization video and the BD1 customization video if people want to see them. And if you do have any questions, please do let me know down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. However, I can't obviously spoil certain parts of the game. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash a like on it to show support for the game on the channel. And if you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to be kept up to date with all Jedi Survivor content. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video.